All right, out here with the rustler on a kind of a wet day. Gonna try to get a speed run in. Um, my GPS has to be zip tied in, but it doesn't have a signal yet. So I'm gonna walk around and try to get where it says non-A or N-A. You guys can see it. That's because it doesn't doesn't have a GPS signal yet. Usually when it hits zero. There we go, three miles an hour. We've got a signal now. One thing bad about GPS is you always gotta make sure you get a signal before you make your run. Otherwise, you could waste that run, which I've wasted a lot of runs. Just gonna do a little test hit. It's the roads are too wet today to, to make a full hit, but I haven't had this car out in a long time and I'm a little worried about it. So, we're going to uh, get a test hit on this thing. Hopefully, uh, the video is catching something. Both my kids are sitting in the car. They don't want to come out, so... I'm going to uh, try to get this done by myself. Let's see. Two-wheel drive's a little tough. You really gotta be easy. Steering. to get this done just a little hit to make sure it goes straight and the Jayco's and everything's not too old got some cars coming down that way I'll cut the video down got three cars this way and one car that way and it's been raining as you see with the clouds all day the roads damp it's not soaked and it is a little windy pushing to my left or my camera right this side oh car's not straight right on its roof Pulling to the left still. I have to keep correcting it. Oh, let me check these. 
these foams. Usually when it flips over, a foam chunks. Not too bad. Might have to throw more weight in the front of it. That was about a quarter throttle. Oh, that's way too many cars coming that way now. And one coming this way. There we go. There's no way. I'm gonna have to grab some weight. I think I had the weighted bumper on the front of this thing. So I got it in my bag. But that's just a little test hit. It just goes right up in a wheel stand. So I'm gonna add some more weight to the front of it. But at least I know now that, uh, that it needs weight. Let's see what we got up to. Probably, I'm assuming about maybe 70 is what I'm thinking. Oh look, the little rubber cap's gone. Let's see, pause ride. Oh, it didn't record. Because now it's saying pause. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm gonna make one more hit since it didn't record anything. That's what I hate about these GPS's. Even though I know it's gonna come up in a wheel stand, I need the data. I need to know where I'm at. I made sure it clocked mile an hour and everything, and of course it's not there. God, that left rear wheel is uh, wobbling now. Not one car coming that way and that's it. It's not gonna be a full on power. Oh, now I got one turning this way. It's not going to be a full-on pass because it's just going up in a wheel stand. But I kind of want to know the data. Those cars look like they're hauling too. Oh, and there's one coming that way. There's no way to be able to make a run like that. sorry guys it's just I need this data now it's like I gotta wait in between these cars got a little sun now too okay I'm in the road one car is coming that way, two cars coming that way, and one's coming this way. I gotta get back out of the road. I was lined up, but too many cars not worth the chance. Yeah, two cars coming this way. I worry about me crashing and not be able to get to the car before these cars just run it over. Oh, now I got a truck coming down this way. It's like they're evenly spaced out to where you can't run. You know, normally there's a traffic light that'll hold traffic, so you have like a two or three minute window. But here, it's like they're exiting off that freeway one by one, so they're perfectly spaced out. 
to where you can't do a run. And right behind this truck, there's another one. Yeah, see, I was going to go for it, but that truck's coming too fast. Hard to judge how far or how fast they're coming. But I think right after this truck, we should be okay. Yeah, I'm gonna send it. See how that thing's in a wheel stand? See how that thing's in a wheel stand? I got a bumper with weight in it. And I think I took it off to put it on the shelf rather than it sitting on the shelf with all the weighted bumper on it. Yeah, see the GPS stop now. Stand off to the side so that I should be able to see it now. I heard it beep. Try it again. Stop. And ride, yes. So that was 78.1 mile an hour. And then, yeah. So that's it. Almost 80 like I thought, 70 to 80 and it's floating. And we went almost a mile, 0.9. Power off, yes. Let me kill this uh, switch. So now I know for tomorrow, I'll be able to... Uh... I'll be able to uh, put my weighted bumper on the front. And uh, go from there. Oh, let me unplug these batteries. Which one is it? It is... Which one's going to the ESC? Screw it. I'll just take them all off. There we go. But that's it. Just a little test hit. 78 miles an hour with the rustler first time out in a long time oh, these cables are all getting in the way now so i'm going to end the video here and we'll see you guys on the next video